Tail almost. And now the death of his father, Paul. He did it! Almost Pac-12 champion. I was just thinking to myself, this is really a once in a lifetime opportunity to set an example. Why not me? I also felt like I was ready. You know, seeing me, I wanted people to see that despite so much adversity, I could still be victorious and express myself. I just wanted people to be inspired by that. I've always been just like a energetic person, I guess. And that got me in trouble a lot as a kid. But once I learned to channel that energy, like it, it went to really good places. Having a dad as a coach is an awesome bond and an awesome opportunity. Um, sometimes it can get rough, obviously. Uh, and he's the one who started the wrestling club in my town. He's the one who got me into it, and he believed in me enough to wrestle and just teach me the ropes. And once I got into high school, like my dad kind of took a back seat and was just like there to support me. We went to Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. That's where Lehigh is. We were getting ready to wrestle our first duel at Lehigh. And it was the night before, I'm getting the weight off. You know, I got down to weight, you know, I was super excited. I get in the van, you know, I'm high-fiving my teammates. Let's get it, let's go tomorrow, like I'm ready to go. I walk over to the other van, my head coach and one of my assistant coaches is there. And I was like, am I in trouble? And they're just like, no. And they seemed like kind of serious. So I got in the van, uh, it's Devin and my two coaches and my mom calls me and I pick up the phone and, and she's like in a panic, she's crying and she's like, Mateo, I, just, I have to tell you like your dad passed away and I'm like, it was just, I was in shock. And um, he unfortunately died of suicide in the house that I grew up in and that he was still living in, in Imperial Beach. So it was scary for me to like be put in that role so quickly and, you know, but I felt prepared to, to take on the challenges ahead and, and be there for them. But after my dad died, like having the coaches in my life, those are, dads in their own respective lives, but they're also somewhat, you know, my dads. I'm grateful I have my coaches. I'm grateful I have my teammates. It's made this somewhat easier and, and being able to stand tall because I have other people around me holding me up and also pushing me to be the best I can be. It, it made me lose the fear of loss, of losing a match. I felt like I had lost the most important thing in my life, which was my dad and loved ones. That's, we don't get those back. It made me kind of fearless um, because, you know, what is losing a wrestling match compared to losing your dad? I just felt this divine confidence from God come over me when I stepped on that stage. And I had no fear because I knew he had a plan and I had a plan. Um, and I just stuck to it. And off the death of his father Mario, well, kisses to the crowd, and he's got a victory over the number four wrestler at 174 in the country, Dustin Plotts. He did it! Almost Pac-12 champion! Big moment for him. Going to the tournament for the first time ever. Yeah, it's crazy, man. I actually didn't even know if I was going to wrestle this year. I was going through health problems, mental health issues i think that's where great stories are made like you know even when i was down in the worst places uh, i just found it within myself to like keep going and follow my dreams it's such a hard thing to go through there's no right answer but i say just um be vulnerable find strength in your vulnerability and continue to move forward and uh look at the positive parts of life because life is shorter than we think for all of us so Enjoy it. What up, G? This is Daddy. 
Uh, just talk to your mom. She, she said you called her all excited. And I'm going to talk to me, so I'm calling you back. Uh, tell me the full story, man. I saw I saw all the pictures. Awesome. All right, can't wait to hear from your own words. All right, bye, man. I love you.